Okay, so just talk about preparing for this season and especially coming off of a strange season like COVID here. Yeah, it was really interesting last year with just how things uh, played out. Um, I was on the radio show last night talking about how you uh, prepare every week. You get ready for a team and then get to the end of the week, Thursday, supposed to play Friday, Saturday, and cancel. And so then the next week you prepare and you prepare and then it's canceled. And uh, I forget, I should have went back and looked, but, but we had something like you know, 75 to 100 practices before we ever played a game last year. And just the mental that it took for those guys and I'm sure the draining, just, you know, the, the mental that it took um, to, to get through that and, you know, the roller coaster ride along the way. Um, but but it has been good. I told them a few days ago, like, how great is this? We were on the road going to play a scrimmage game, and um, it it's, seems to be back to normal and back to kind of back to the way it was before COVID hit. And, uh, and we're looking forward to, to the season and having a normal year and having normal preparation and normal season. And, and, uh, but, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that and excited about it. Okay, um, you had a couple games, well, three games for the preseason. Um, just what did you learn from that, and what are you bringing to your first competition this weekend? Yeah, you learn a lot. Uh, we learned, you know, learned uh, how hard we have to play, and learned how important defense needs to be to, to this group. Uh, we are still improving every day and we still have some question marks in some areas and still trying to figure out rotations and still trying to figure out who needs to play where and what we need to do but but it's a process and it's like that every year um, especially when you sign some transfers that uh, you feel like need to play and need to get in the mix and um, so it so it's a it's a learning process for all of us and we're, we're a work in progress but um, feel like we have the pieces to, to be successful and and do uh, do what we need to do to continue to improve as the year goes on. What, who are some some key returners that you you brought back for this season? Yeah, it's been it's been great because you know last year we had ten brand new ones. Um, you know we only returned Justin Allison, and and he had a lot of weight on his shoulders to to carry on how we practice and what is important in this program, and um, and he had a lot of weight on his shoulders to do that and did a phenomenal job with that. And uh, and has, has continued that, but he had a lot of help this year. We had you know eight guys coming back, and uh, and and has some help with that, and how we practice, and how we prepare, and you know how we act off the court, and things like that. And so it's been a it's been great to have all of them uh, to help along the way with that, uh, and and just how much farther along we are with our relationship, and being able to t coach them, and. You know, ten new ones, brand new coach, brand new team. It's it's really hard, and because uh, we don't know each other yet. But now with a year under our belt and know each other, it's it's uh, it's been good uh, from the coaching side of things to be able to have that relationship. And um, and so yeah, so really a lot of all of them. Um, obviously, there's some offensive things that we're counting on for certain guys. You know, Cortrick Miles ended up being second team all conference at the end of the year last year and really came on late last four, five, six games, found his niche and figured out, you know, how to play and what we're trying to do. It was never a fact that he couldn't actually play. He could always play. It was just figuring out within our style, within our how we need to play. Um, and then, you know, uh, Shardarian Allen, I always up about to call him fat. Everybody calls him fat, you know. But uh you know, he ended up being first team all conference, had several double doubles, was player of the week a, a couple times, and you know, counting on him significantly, and and obviously scoring the ball, yes, but but maybe more importantly, uh, being coachable and bouncing around at practice every day, and you know, if I can coach those guys as hard as I coach everybody else, then then it then it really helps the team um, going forward. Um, is there any newcomers that we should keep our eye out for this upcoming season? It's Sumter County's finest, you know, from from York. You know, Calvin Finch has been a been a great to have, uh, just with his energy and his passion and um, and his attitude. You know, he he's been around a long time. I've known him for a long time when he was at, at going to Sumter Central in high school, and so you know he's been great to have around, uh, just because of all those other things. Yeah, he's a phenomenal athlete and. You know, and does some things athletically that we really needed, but maybe more so just with his energy and his enthusiasm, and uh, and you know, 
hopefully he can bring some people to the to, from York to come over and watch us play and bring you know pack the pack the house pack Pruitt is what we're hoping. Okay. Uh, with this being your essentially your second season, but your first regular season, what are some goals have you set for yourself as a coach and some goals for the team? I just think you look at it every day and just hope to improve. Every single day, every single game, you hope to see some improvement um, along the way. Uh, like I said, there's still some some ironing out, and that's how it is all the time this time of year. You know, you rotation maybe at 9 or 10, and as the year goes on, you try to, try to maybe – shrink that to to have more continuity and you know as guys play and perform and rotations are set that's kind of what we're looking forward to with that but um i think just improving every single day having energy and having enthusiasm having uh you know enjoying practice i told him the other day like this other than you know waking up every morning coming to practice is the highlight of my day you know, I wait till whatever it is, practice at one, I sit there and wait till one o'clock. You know, I do my practice plan and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and, you know, practice is over. I come to office, I sit here, wait till five o'clock to go home and pick the kids up. And so, you know, the highlight of the day is practice. And so I hope the, I hope the guys do that. And, and, you know, as games start, hopefully the highlight of their days are, are getting prepared for games and getting ready for those games. And so, yeah, we're excited and looking forward to it and ready to play somebody else uh, this weekend. All right. Um, just do you have a message for fans or what you want people to know about Tiger basketball? November 16th is the first home game, and hopefully we can get people there to, to start supporting us. we got a uh, brand-new video board that was put in and a lot of lot of cool things happening with, with, uh, with Pruitt as far as, you know, some renovations. They're not done yet, but some, some really neat things happening, and it uh, be great to have a bunch of people out here to see what's, what's happening with, with that and with our team. All right. Thank you, Coach.